we ought to give a big hand to Paul because he put this whole thing together. Okay, but I guess we've already established I'm not 25. But in cat years, I'm only 14. And the vet says I don't wait for 14. No, but the important thing is I have the body of a 40 year old woman who's in terrible shape. <laughs> Now, I always like to start out to really want to get to know people. I want to tell you exactly where I'm at, okay? I'm on the cusp of French lace panties and depends. <laughs> but let me tell you a little bit about myself. I grew up in a typical Jewish family. My grandmother's last words were, take a sweater. <laughs> Yes, 
they are because I was suspicious of my thoughts. <laughs> they ordered me to stay a hundred yards away from myself. <laughs> no, but I think the, the worst, the worst is I have a, a problem with depression. Last year, it got so bad, I tried Suiciders Anonymous. <laughs> no, but, but I, I don't know. Every time I went, there were less and less people. <laughs> <laughs> I lost my place. I probably not, shouldn't have gotten stoned. <laughs> you know, it's, it's very important to practice things like getting stoned and denial when things go bad. How else? Okay. So, um, what I want to say is that it's like things have changed so much. Do any of you people here remember the 50s? <laughs> no, I mean really the pre pantyhose days, right? Women were were, were girdles, garter belts, steel reinforced brassiers. You got undressed, you had lines. Well, to everywhere. Husbands didn't have to batter you. Your fucking underwear did. <laughs> they teach birth control in school, right? What was for us birth control? Meant you didn't get the card in there. <laughs> but there was a dating code. Do you remember? Guys took you out, walked you to the door. Maybe they tried to get a kiss. Good money. Today, if a guy walks you to your car after stopping you all night, this is a real gentleman. <laughs> I know I forgot something, but I don't. I don't remember. I'm going to go right into religion being in a synagogue and everything. Uh, well, before that, no, I was very lucky. Last month I visited my hometown, Philadelphia, and I was so touched. I saw a plaque in the cent in center city on a wall that said, this pocket park is donated by Beth and Joseph Schreiber and is dedicated to all the people of Philadelphia except for the Shapiros, who didn't invite us to their daughter's wedding. <laughs> now, I'm going to say, i got to say, I want to say, I do, I do not believe in God. But, I'm glad other people do. <laughs> you know? And, and, I, and I participate and I observe. Last, uh, the, holy, the high holy days last year, I was in Kentucky visiting my cousin Naomi Beth Sue Lucy Till. <laughs> uh, we went to services to uh, Temple Beth Beauregard. <laughs> this was a very poor uh, synagogue. I mean, they could not. Somebody's giving me a Do I have a time limit here? Can we all just get... Okay. So, what was I just saying? Oh, God. Oh, really? the oh yeah. Poor yeah. It was such a poor synagogue. They couldn't afford stained glass windows. Oh. So they had paint by number shades. Okay. <laughs> now, I'm going to end with a, an observation. A lot of my young friends, they keep talking about something called makeup sex, which I think is self-explanatory. Well, and you know, this has got to be a Christian thing. Because Jews do not fight and fuck. Excuse me, scream and shook. <laughs> okay, right, does it? Making up can take weeks, even months, in a fur coat, right? <laughs> then, right, so this is why there's so many of them and so few of us. <laughs> it is not makeup sex, it's Jewish birth control. 